Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on Erit Academy. So before we proceed with the question of the day, there are two announcements. Yesterday also we have discussed about it. So today also I am going to tell you that we are posting questions from the current affairs on our Telegram channel. So if you have not joined, please join our Telegram channel. That is Erit Academy. If you will find it on Telegram, you can join it. Otherwise, you can find the link in the description box. So the idea here is that we are posting the questions from the current affairs, especially for those who are giving this year's attempt and they are not uh, able to read the newspaper or the ongoing current affairs. And uh, we have observed that how UPSC has been asking the uh, information or the question from the recent current affairs. Okay, so do subscribe to it. Next. We have another announcement that is that we are glad to announce that tomorrow, that is 30th April, we are organizing a session of Mr. Saurabh Kumar. He is Indian Forest Service Officer and uh, Saurabh sir has bagged rank 16 in Indian Forest Service exam 2018. He is also the author of very popular book, Prelim Simplified, which aims to provide the solution to aspirants everyday queries such that how to read, what to read, what in what depth we should read and how to remember what to leave. So the session which we are organizing tomorrow uh, will be focusing upon giving you certain tips for the upcoming UPSC CSC prelims 2022 followed by a doubt session. And I also request all of you to share your specific doubts or questions with us on telegram ID at the rate daily Himan. I will tell the exact ID by the end of the discussion. So tele Himan T E L E H I M A N. So if you want any specific question to be asked, please share it with us and the link and the the link and the timing for this session will be shared in our telegram channel. So please join that as well. Okay, now let's proceed with the question of the day. So today we have taken a question from environment ecology and especially the question is focusing on the key ecological terms. So the question is the term biotope refers to what? Option A, B, C, D are there. So A is talking about a set of general physical conditions excluding chemical, biological conditions in a given geographical area. Then B is talking about homogeneous set of physical and chemical conditions. So it is focusing on homogeneous physical and chemical conditions given in a geographical area. C is talking about homogeneous, but it is including biological and chemical conditions in a geographical area. D is talking about particular type of biological assemblage. So here the focus is on biological assemblage in a geographical areas. And the first one was focusing on general physical conditions, excluding, it is not uh, including chemical and biological. So why I am reading all these options in detail? Because these terms, what is excluded, homogeneous, biological, chemical, it will make sense to you when we will, we would have discussed the question in detail. So I'm not telling you the answer because first we need to understand the topic. Okay, so in today's video, we will be discussing about biotope definitely. Then we will be discussing about habitat, how biota biotope is different from habitat, what is biocenosis. Then we will discuss about biota, niche, ecosystem, biome and biosphere. So let's start the discussion. Okay, so before we proceed, first let's have a look at this diagram. So we know we would have read it in our ecology books about who are individuals then individuals together they will form population and population of one species and other species together along with plants and animals together we call them as community and that community that is biotic component when they are interacting with water soil rocks so they form their interaction is uh, uh, leads to ecosystem so basically the interaction of biotic and abiotic component leads to ecosystem and various ecosystems together they are known as biome and we know biosphere. Biosphere is a habitable conditions where the lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere interact with, uh, with each other. And basically they are creating a conducive environment for life to thrive upon. So this is about a general understanding which we have already read and uh, it was a reiteration. Now let's understand the difference between biotope and habitat. So starting with biotope. Biotope is basically formed by or the origin is from two Greek words that is bios and topos whereby bios means life and while topos means a place. So a place where life is thriving or originating. So it is basically a place. Coming to habitat, habitat is a Latin word, word from habere which means to hold or to have. Basically it is also a reference of a place which holds a certain set of population or 
community or a species basically a species okay biotope is micro scale level microscope is scale level means that it exists in a relatively tiny environment sometimes as small as a flower pot on the other hand a habitat is not limited to a specific geographical area it can be a large area or microscopic area so pardon me i have written can be large area of microscopic area so that is not of that is or okay so or microscopic area it can be a large area or both okay so this is about uh, habitat third is whenever we talk about biotope it is occupied by community not only one species but when we talk about habitat we refer habitat with respect to a species that this particular species is occupying this particular area for example the habitat of a siberian tiger can span over hundreds of miles but the habitat of whale covers thousands of square miles but at the same time the parasites or the bacteria they cover a tiny microscopic area so we talk or we relate habitat with a specific species but when we talk about a place which is being occupied by plants animals or microscopes or basically a community then we use biotope and bi biotope is generally of very tiny place so it is at micro scale uh, micro scale level okay let's understand it with the help of example so habitat the example can be there can be a terrestrial habitat there can be oceanic habitat so within terrestrial habitat what all comes desert will be there forest will be there savanna steppe grassland glaciers so many things will be there so many divisions will be there uh, within terrestrial habitat as well but when we talk about biotope biotope can be too many too numerous to list it includes a stone basically we are, again we are talking about micro scale or like a flower pot even that area is will be called as biotope so it is it can be stone bushes flower pots garden mud or even much more so further basically what you are let's say we are creating natural green areas or we are promoting green roofs so each that each of this is that space can be called as biotope so hope you have got understanding so basically whenever we use biotope and habitat maybe it be generally interchangeably it is uh, used in a layman language but actually they have different definition so further you will get clarity so let's understand when we will understand biotope with relay in relation with biosynosis then you will get better clarity so here we have biotope where biotope if you can see the image here solar energy is there temperature is there precipitation basically water is there rocks sands air so if you can observe it clearly it is all a biotic component but when we are seeing this biosynosis it is including plants animals insects so basically here we have living beings so let's understand it so here biotope includes abiotic components and biosynosis includes biotic components so whenever we are talking about abiotic it is non living part that for, uh, that forms or which is part of the ecosystem okay and here we have living things living part of the ecosystem it it can be a species or animals plants microorganism basically a community okay so this is biosynosis next we have if we have to define biotope biotope is a territory or it is a physical area or it is a geographical space which has certain physical chemical environmental factors such as temperature amount of sunlight so you if you remember this diagram you can recall the definition so through this temperature water and sunlight what uh, which, which is reaching the living organism uh, is through water soil salinity rocks and minerals okay and when they are being consumed by the biotic components or the living components so these community these living objects or living beings are thriving on these biotopes so when they are occupying that place they can be community phytosynosis that is the basically the community which is uh, dependent or who are capable of uh, these are the set of living beings who are plant species they are capable of producing the food or they are able to consume the energy it can be trees algae or anything so they have their own characteristic then we have zoosynosis it is set of living beings that is made up of animal species it can be mammal birds reptiles species insects etc then we have microbiosynosis basically all kinds of existing microorganisms which 
are those living beings that cannot be seen with the naked eye and it is necessary to use a microscope for them okay like we have already discussed about virus bacteria fungi algae so they are microbiosis microbiosis so hope you have got the understanding now that what is biotope and what is biosynosis when these two interact with each other so what will be formed we, uh, we have our ecosystem so within ecosystem as you can see in this image the biotic components and abiotic components they are interacting with each other so this relationship between the living beings and the non-living beings leads to ecosystem so we have our ecosystem which consists of all organisms that uh, all organisms that is living and the physical environment with which they interact so this is about biotope biosynosis and ecosystem hope you would have got better clarity now let's have a look at other terms so for your understanding if i have to summarize what is biotope so biotope is an area of uniform environment environmental conditions providing a living place for a specific assemblage of animals so i have the areas or the words which has been highlighted in red so these are the main components of the definition so biotope is what it is an area basically a physical space it is a territory it is a geographical place of what uniform environmental conditions so in environmental conditions what all will come physical components will be there chemical components will be there right providing what providing a living place for whom for a specific assemblage of plants and animals so these plants and animals are known as what biosynthesis hope this is clear to you right now let's see other details now coming to the question again the term biotope refers to what so if you will read the answer is here so the answer is it is a homogeneous set of physical and chemical conditions in conditions in a given geographical area at a particular time so if you read the first option you can easily eliminate it but because it is saying that the biotope excludes chemical and biological conditions so it is not such it is not that uh, the case why c is not the answer because homogeneous set of both biological and chemical conditions so biological is basically the living components they are thriving on the physical and chemical conditions so basically biotope is a biotic component so biological we have to remove so the option is uh, not correct d is talking about it is a particular type of biological assemblage in a given geographical area no the uh, correct word for d is biosynosis so that is also not a uh, the right answer okay so the right answer is this one so here we have discussed biotope let me tell you friends this question was asked by upsc in a, in a exam which was conducted recently so i have taken from there itself so this is the importance that how upsc is going bit uh, deeper into the concepts especially with respect to the key. in the past also we have seen that how uh, UPSC is fond of the ecological uh, key ecological terms. So be very thorough with these concepts. Okay, now let's see what are the other details. So habitat we have discussed. Habitat is broad whenever in when we will compare it in with respect to biotope. So it is broader in area. Biosynosis we have discussed. So biosynosis is basically a community which is thriving on biotope. Okay. Biota. So what is biota? So biota is not related to biota. Biota is basically comprises all living organisms, be it bacteria, fungi, plants, animals that inhabit a given area. For example, soil biota, oceanic biota, terrestrial biota, biotas of the forest, bogs, lakes. So biota is again broad. It is, uh, let's say we have to relate then in comparison to biosynosis, it will be broader. So biota is broader. What is next keyword is niche. What is niche? So niche is uh, it, it, it's it is called as uh, let's say each species occupies a niche in the community. Okay, so niche is a functional role. Basically, niche is the role that a species is playing, and it includes the type of food it eats, where it lives, where it reproduces, or its relationship with other species. If you have to understand, then you can say that niche is focuses on particular species and niche is the role or uh, the functional role which is being performed by that particular species in the ecosystem you can remember it and you can relate it with this analogy it is like a job 
in an organization. So what job I am doing in an organization? Am I a software developer or am I a teacher? Am I a pun? Am I a principal? So whatever is my job in that particular organization that will decide my niche. Okay, so it is generally said that, okay, we should develop a niche. Let's say I uh, be a software developer or testing. So if, even in the field of IT sector or in IT sector, we have to develop our niche and accordingly we will get our job. So it is niche is our functional role. And for that, we need certain resources. We need to perform certain uh, actions. If there will be a relationship between other uh, uh, homo sapiens, humans. So it is called as niche. Now, what is the next one ecosystem? So again, we have our image here ecosystem. We know that when uh, the biotic and abiotic components are interacting with each other, then we call it as a ecosystem. So energy enters the system through photosynthesis and is incorporated into the plant tissues. And those plant tissues uh, will be eaten by the uh, animals, right? So here biotic and abiotic components are interacting with each other. Next is biome. So biome is what? Biome, we can say, is a zone that is identified by large scale of climate and vegetations. Or rather, you can say it is a group of ecosystems. So they are usually identified and named after the life form. For instance, it can be grassland biome, coral reef biome, tropical rainforest biome, right? So species in different parts of biome may appear similar in behavior or appearances due to their similarity in uh, the patterns of natural selection tundra biome so that way we have biome so biome is group of ecosystems now what is biosphere so biosphere is generally defined as the portion of the universe where all life is found right so the biosphere is also known as the ecosphere or you can say that it is termed as the zone of life on earth so biosphere is defined as the parts of earth where life exists and it is made up of three parts as you can see on the screen it includes atmosphere, it includes lithosphere and hydrosphere. That is air, crust, mantle and your water. So it is made up of the parts of the earth where life is existing. So further it is broad. Okay, so hope these terms, you would have got clarity with respect to them. And uh, bioto, bi habitat, biosynthesis, biota, niche, ecosystem, biome and biosphere. So this is it. Let's understand it with respect to a general analogy it will further give you clarity so here we have earth so earth can be considered as a biosphere because the conditions on the earth be it the air atmosphere air from the atmosphere water and the lithosphere the mineral soils they are enabling the they are producing enabling environment for life to thrive upon so here we have this is biosphere on biosphere and within biosphere we will have different biomes so these buildings can be different biomes and what are these biomes they are different different uh, combination of ecosystems so you can say that one building can be an ecosystem and within one building there will be different or many types of houses so many people will be living in houses so these balconies you can say or these are independent houses these are nothing but your habitats and these are habitats so different habitats like uh, uh, your habitat or my habitat habitat of dog habitat of cat okay so within this house if we enter in one house let's say so we are entering in one house there we will see different rooms so a dining area is there kitchen is there washroom is there then uh, another bedroom is there so these different rooms you can relate as bio Two. So these are the physical spaces with different physical and chemical conditions which uh, in on which uh, let's say in uh, one room uh, grandmother is living in another room and dogs are living in another room human and animals together they are living. So basically these biotopes are providing a place with necessary physical and chemical condition or on which biosynthesis basically the community can thrive upon. So hope you have got the clarity right and everybody has a functional role in the house so that is their niche and uh, from outside you can say okay the biota includes animals humans so that is biota so hope you would have got clarity and be very thorough with these concepts because UBSC is asking every year so hope you enjoyed the discussion and please make use of it and revise well we'll meet in another video take care and bye bye see you all